Hi guys, Stuart and Alan here for Outdoor Basics and we've got the rest of the guys. If you hear any madness, it's because I've got my two, two of my youngest kids with me. Um, I've got a four year old and a six year old um, and they're a bit of carnage so, and we've got a dog ways. So, dogs and children. Eh? <laughs> um, so today I'm going to talk about the Shred 52. I have had this knife close to two years. Two years? Are you want to be in a video Jackie? Mm -hmm. Come on here then. This is Jackie, he's absolutely bogging, look at the stadium, he's just been cooking marshmallows off a stick, so he's been having the time of his life, right on you go wee barra. Bye. Bye mate. <laughs> oh, here comes Molly, Molly right you come and be in the video before we talk about the Shred 52, come in, turn around say hello. Hi. Right on you go. Hi. So anyway, um, I've, had this, I've had this knife for over two years. And I've, I've got so many knives, right? And I, I'm not saying that as like, I've got so many knives. I maybe went through a wee phase. Um, and I've got some of the best knives money can buy. Um, and I, I'm not saying that lightly. Like, if you look at my, I've got an Origin ACAD. Um, I've got an Origin Bushcrafter. I've got an Origin Bowie knife. Origin Knives. Go to my mate Alec Mayer's channel. Um, easy going outdoors if you want to see any reviews on the Origin knives. He absolutely smashes them. Um, so that's 110 percent some of the best knives in earth best handmade knives you can get but i'm going to talk about this trade 52 and i'm going to talk about it for there's, there's reasons um i'm just going to get up is it heaney haynes or heiney haynes i can never say it right and, and i'm going to explain a few things about this knife right so the trade 52 it is made of 1095 hard car high carbon steel it's got a blade length of 18 centimetres, a blade thickness of 0 0.6, overall length 32.6 centimetres. Um, handle material is like a polymer. Handle detail, contoured texture, I'm going to get to all this. Um, blade shape drop point, blade type is a plane. Cutting edge 15.6 centimetres, sheath black nylon. Um, weight 483 grams. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what they're saying on Heine Haynes, and it's coming in at 54 quid. I'm confident though, I paid 49 quid, maybe two year ago for it. Um, so I'm going to start with the sheaf, right? I hate the sheaf, and I think that's maybe how I didn't use it as much. Is it functional and will it do the job? 150,000%. Um, it's got a kind of Velcro large belt loop at the back. It's got an adjustable, which I actually thought was quite cool with Velcro, adjustable belt loop, a retainer button. It's quite quite decent there. What I do like about it is it comes with a pouch. As I've said in hundreds of videos before, I like to have as many of the five C's covered as possible um, on my knife sheath. So I've just got mega simple. I've got a bellows and a bit of fartwood and a fire steel, a TBS, fire steel, um, a polymath products, is that what you call it? A uh, bellows, I'm just ditch it in there. Funnily enough, I slipped in my uh, Randall's Adventure Training Company card, it just slipped in there. Um, when the lads got me my SA6, which everybody knows how I feel about my SA6, I love it. Um, so I, good wee thing, it came with a decent wee fire steel, which is actually in a fire kit and it came with a kind of wee diamond stone thing, sharpening stone, um, which wasn't too bad. So yeah, the sheath's all right. I don't like it, right? I don't like it, I like Kydex sheaths. But is it practical? 110%, will it get the job done? 110%. There is a company, I'm going to try and tag him in it, I don't know if Aaron can do it. Um, Backcountry Kydex, Backcountry Kydex I'm sure, or Backcountry Workshop, that is now Backcountry Workshop who, like me, is a former Royal Marine and I'm going to get him to do a load of Kydex sheaths for me on my knives mainly because I'm going to be selfish on it and say he's a former Royal Marine, former veteran and I'd like to chuck some business his way and then add on top of that, he's absolutely exceptional I've seen um, Jonah, Jonah's got loads of videos as well um, God, what's Jonah's channel called again? Mine's gone blank, sorry Jonah mate, am I? 
sweating like a bit neck in a sperling test. Anyway, uh, Jonah's got some Kydex work and stuff like that done off him and his stuff seems fantastic. And I've seen him on his Instagram and that stuff seems good. So enough waffle man, because I've talked hunters a mince. Um, that chat out of the way. You can see it's a bit battered and stuff because we have used it. Um, and the knife itself, right, it has everything that I really like. It's got a finger choil, but if you look at it here, right, see when I choke up with the finger choil here, see this kind of ramp here for the thumb? When I choke up, I can pull back onto the, the kind of lip here, and that allows me to really lock up on the knife well. So when I'm further sticking or doing finer tasks, that backwards ramp allows me to lock up really, really well, so I can get a, a positive action. Just, that just allows me to get that wee bit extra control. Also, um, it's got the kind of jump in here. So if I, you know, I had to go that way and I was doing any push cuts, same as before, I can have that wee bit extra control there. And if I'm chopping, I've also got that positive ramp for that wee extra bit of grip there. So the ramp in either direction is really good for allowing you to lock, uh, what do you call it, allowing you to choke up and lock up on the blade. So yeah, really, really, really impressed with that. Is it a scallop? Is that what you call these bits here? So that if I want to do chest lever cuts, when I change direction here, see the way my thumb just sits in the scallop there? And again, I can lock up really well for chest lever cuts. I mean, look at that, man. It's fantastic positive action. Oh, took it to the grid. <laughs> so to kill me. Uh, a fantastic positive action because of that scallop there. So just the work of the positive ramp there, the scallop. Yes, it feels a bit sharp here, but it's nothing to write him about. Maybe it's because I've got hard hands. Um, it, it feels absolutely fine on me. Um, it's got a decent lip here as well that's going to stop you maybe sliding up onto the blade. And as I say, this kind of hook finish at the back, um, as you'll see in the chopping demos and stuff, it really allows me to chop, like get that good positive wrist action. Um, as I've said before, Lofty Wiseman talks about it. Um, uh, the blade meets the wood before the knuckles. I don't want it to be a kind of that action. Um, so it allows me to really get a good positive flick. Also, it's got an extended pommel at the back um, with a paracord loop. So we have split with this when we first got it. If Aram pans there, we didn't video it, we'll maybe do it. See that tree here, this tree here? We have split one of these this thick all the way right down. We might have some old footage if we can find it, we'll get it. Uh, we split it with these in the first time we used the knife and it just battened. It was literally like six foot all the way down, it was fantastic. Um, we'll maybe actually, we'll maybe make that happen now. Um, so, yeah. I, I was maybe concerned about the tip, but I really have abused this knife, and especially today. Like, I just brought it out in a whim, because I, there was another knife or two that I've been looking at, and I was like, do I, really need, do I really need another knife? Like I say, I've got all these knives. I've got SE6, SE4, a Blackad, Origin Bushcrafter, Origin Bowie. Um, I've got a custom knife, a, a Jason up at RJ Bushcraft. Um, I've got my pusser's garlic machete when I was in the core. I've got all sorts of knives. And the answer is no, I don't. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this knife. And for the price point, this is the thing that I want to get. It's not just a good knife for the price point. It's a good knife full stop. Um, it is a good knife full stop. People maybe look at it as a cheaper knife. I know Shred has maybe had problems with heat treating stuff like that. But as I can say, I've never had a drama with this. Never had a drama. Um, and to be honest, I find myself looking for it more and more and more. As I, when I'm going out, I find myself looking for this knife and wanting to take this knife and just enjoying using it for, you know, feather sticking, everything it does, everything I want really. Um, so as I say, I'm going to go to Backcountry Kydex and, kind of, what do you call it? Get a decent sheath for it. And then I'll give you an update on that. So yeah, um, Aaron will probably insert some cool stuff now, like techno music as I'm chopping and looking, looking worry and that'll be awesome.
this is after a full day of use. Granted, it is quite a soft wood, but the comfort in the hand of this thing, you know, the kind of hook shape at the back allows, see if you just take a couple of twists there, but that kind of look grip, I can choke back, and I really have that snap of the wrist. Um, I've seen Lofty Wiseman talk about it, you want the blade to meet the angle of the chop before, before the, the knuckles. And I feel with that wee extra look, look, and I really have that good control. Um, you don't even need that wee bit of cordage there. I can just choke back. And as we showed in the previous chopping test, just so you see it's not a flick. And that's nearly all the way through. Look, watch. Just give that a wee chop in the other direction. Look. It's not the hardest wood in the world, I've said, but but still, my God. Straight 52, loving it. Yeah, so here's the battening bit. Couple of things, we are 110% gonna use this in our camp. This wood grows like wildfire here. We're only deforesting, we're only like smashing the place up. It literally grows like non-stop. Um, we can't even move full of stuff and it will be used in our camp. Next. Before anybody gets super excited, no, it's not the most tough wood in the world or anything like that, but it is a pretty big test for any knife. Should you batten a piece of wood like this with a knife? No, you 110% not. It's fair to on abuse of the knife. Well, it is abuse of the knife. It's merely a demonstration. So please don't get upset and say, well, if you were splitting wood, you should use an axe, blah, blah, blah. Yes, man, I know. It's, it's a video for YouTube. Relax. Right, so it's just a video for YouTube. But just demonstrating that you can batten through things with how actually solid that knife genuinely is and although you shouldn't <coughs> excuse me treat it in that way if you had to one to option it you could if you were surviving in your local woods because your missus has kicked you out and you flipped your lid the Shred 52 is the knife for you so yeah here we go there do I go bold and go against the grain? Why not? Right, so here we go. It's good about this extended palmer at the back here. See, I can hammer it right up to the the choil, so it's a maximum blade effect. That's a, we need to pattern that maximum blade effect. <laughs> like that, that was cool. I just keep thinking in my head now, maximum blade effect. You should think it too. What I would probably do, normally, is get a bit of wood and start hammering the bit of wood in. Now the wood started to split, but for the video I'm just going to keep going with this, like this.
That was the Trans-Siberian line you could hear there. It's how wild this place is. It's the Scottish version. I don't know about you, man, but I am sweating like I'm taking a sparing test. Right, so it's quite punky. Before I do anything, I'm going to try this now, right? Wait. If I'd thought about this, I could have. Uh, um, do you know what? I'll just do this instead. I might be able to do this. Now chop this World's most crappy feather sticks that you're seeing that it's more the angle and blah blah blah. You get the you get the point. Using the scallop that I was talking about earlier. You get what I'm trying to show you there, that it's still, still got an edge. So, this video is totally impromptu by the way, we weren't intending to do this video today. We had no intention, just Aaron says, oh I've noticed you've been using the shred mare. And I was like, um, yeah I have, blah blah blah, and it, we decided to just knock a wee video out. Um, should you bat in something like that? No. Don't go mental in the comments, you don't need to get all upset. The point of that was to show that this will easily batten anything of this right size that you should batten with a knife. Should they be batten, battening anything over wrist thickness really with a knife? And some people get really upset about battening with a knife. Usually I'd batten with an axe or whatever, but I don't see the big drama with battening with something like that of that thickness. That was just purely for YouTube theatrics. So yeah. I mean, for the price point, I just think it's an absolutely two wee minutes you. Shh. Okay, she's, she's cut her thumb, her thumb a wee bit. Right, come and stand beside me then, because... So Dad, I take off from my mic and then it's not hurting. Okay. Right, you two come in here beside me then. Right, so, I better finish it up then, because I'm getting raided by the young team. So, the Shred 52. For the price for the price point, an outstanding knife and in general, an absolutely outstanding knife for if you want a kind of bushcrafty survival, bigger, chopper, one tool option, whatever, just a general camp knife. Don't touch it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, Shred 52, great knife. Also, stay tuned for me getting a backcountry workshop custom Kydex sheath. All that good sound and stuff, like, comment, I think we've done all that. Do that, show them how we do it. Momo. Ah! <laughs> As always, I've been Stuart, he's been Aaron. They've been noisy and annoying children, but they've had a great day and I'm well happy with it. 
This has been the Shred 52 and yous have been awesome. See you next time. Oh, like, share, comment, subscribe. My daughter keeps saying I need to say you need to hit that bell, all that good sound and stuff. I've noticed we get loads of views and stuff like that on videos. Going to convert that into just, just doing that, click, and hitting that bell, you'd be doing us a massive favour. No, because we want to get it, not it, just because we put a wee bit of effort into it and we really like it and we'd like to know, we'd like, we'd like to know who's out there watching and sharing and all that sort of good sound and stuff. So yeah, see you in the next one guys.